Any questions for Angie or producers right here? Next time. Uh, 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 how long was the production schedule? How long did it take to do the entire production? Uh, we had eight weeks. Eight weeks in, uh, in Tenerife. And one week in Madrid. Oh, two, two. It was like six weeks in uh, Tenerife and two weeks in Madrid. Something like that. <laughs> We shot the movie two years ago. In the back? Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I really enjoyed it. I wanted to ask you, I, I felt a lot of influence of Jacques Demy, the French uh, director that did uh, the Demoiselle de Rochefort and Parapluie de Cherbourg. Is there, did anybody think about his influence when doing the movie? Yeah, definitely. David Serrano, the director, was like inspired, you know, by that movie. So yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thanks. Really enjoyed it. Loved it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Rodrigo and Andres, was this was the production? Is this a production that's very different from a lot of your other movies? And how tough was it to put it together? Was, is this production different from quite a, a bit of your other productions and how tough was it to put this kind of a project together? Actually, we have been producing a lot of movies with Spain, so this was an old one. Uh, it was like a great experience because the first time that we got like real actresses from Colombia, so it was like a real co-production. And then when they told us that Angie, because uh, the director decided to, to have Angie and, and, and Juana before we got into the movie. So it was great like, to have like a real co-production and next time we're going to shoot next uh, Una Hora in Canaria 2 is going to be shot in Cartagena. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's another question here. I, I can't see you as well as Rodrigo, Rodrigo can. Over there, behind you, Phil. Oh, there's one, uh, one here and we'll come to you right after. Primero que todo, felicitaciones a la película espectacular. Eh, la pregunta es si ya salió en España y cuál ha sido el feedback de la película en España. Muchísimas gracias. Eh, la película ya salió en España y le fue muy bien. Se estrenó en el verano eh, pasado y sí, a la gente, la gente le gustó mucho y, y sí, le fue bastante bien. No, sé si tú... no, también que quedaron campeones del mundo, ganaron el mundial. Uh -huh. Well, congratulations, of course, and it's very rare to see musicals in Spanish. How, how do you come up with that idea and, you know, to take that leap? And Because when I saw the trailer, I was totally impressed by all the flying sequences and the singing. And how do you come up with that idea? I think that basically we, as producers, <laughs> uh, from, we, we got lucky that this project was presented to us to, to get involved. I mean, we've been in... in I mean, we, we've been attending Miami for several years now, and in Colombia, at least, from a Colombian perspective, most of our movies deal with a lot of social political issues. Our audiences are asking for something different. It's very hard to find stories like this, especially that push the envelope, as this movie does, in every sense. This is a full-on musical, in every, in every sense. And uh, so for us, it, it was extremely refreshing. And like Andres mentioned before, we were extremely lucky that the director picked Angie and Juanita, who are really good friends in real life, uh, to play these two characters. So the whole package was extremely uh, like appealing for us to make, do something different and to be able to bring these kind of stories to audiences, and I mean, you guys saw the reaction today. You know, it's a, it's a really fun experience. So, so it's been, it's been a fun ride. To 
Do we have uh, one final question? Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Gracias por venir. Muy bien. Muchísimas gracias.